tech is out there. Dot tech domain has recently crossed 100,000 web registrations, which includes all the top YouTubers in the world, and even CES uses a dot tech domain extension. If you want a dot tech domain for you, go to get dot tech and use the coupon code ITSSTAS to grab your suitable domain for just $2.99, applicable for only a single year. To learn more, click the link in the video description. Hey guys, ITSSTAS here, back with another video. So. Android lock hacking. Uh, here I bring you the combined methods of all the popular and successful lock hacking methods which works only on Android by the way. First I would like to classify the lock hacking methods into two techniques that is first one using the custom recovery and the second one using your PC and some toolkits and some tools. So for following both these methods your device must be rooted otherwise you can't follow this method so first let's jump into the first method that is using your custom recovery before going into the actual method there is a thing which you need to do in order to perform the actual techniques you need to mount the data and the system using the mount option inside your custom recovery the custom recovery needs access to the data and the system folder in order to remove the locks from your device so you need to mount those two things before jumping into any other methods so after doing that it's time to rock and roll the first method using your custom recovery is using the aroma file manager so here what we are going to do is we are going to delete the system log from your device using this tool called aroma file manager this is an open source tool available in xda developer site the link is in the description so all you need to do is open up your custom recovery and click on the install option and and select the aroma file manager and flash it that is install it the zip file and after installing it you will see a screen like this this is actually direct review of all the system files and folders present inside your device this is the operating system files and folders and this aroma file manager is capable of deleting any file or any folder so don't play with it disclaimer warning don't play with it if you play with any other files or folders and if you delete some other things which are essential for your device then you are definitely screwed so don't play with it after opening it um, the main thing we need here is the data folder so move on to the data folder using your volume keys and use the power button to select the thing so first move on to the data folder and after moving on into the data folder move into the system folder and here is where the actual operation is going to take place after moving into the system folder scroll down to find a file with extension dot key these dot key files are the lock storage files which stores your locks that is your device locks deleting this file will simply remove the lock from your device search for that dot key file and delete that after deleting that you're good to go just reboot your device and your device will reboot into the normal mode with no problems but even after rebooting you will find a dummy lock screen don't panic after that because that's just a leftover of your settings just draw a random pattern or give a random key to open your device so that's all with this first method using custom recovery and now let us move on to the second method and moving on to the second method we have the lock disabler tool this disabler tool was actually made by me um yeah honestly i made this tool by referring some online articles and some stuffs this actually works in the same way as that of the aroma file manager but here instead of you doing everything manually this tool deletes the log file just in a single click all you need to do is go inside the install option and select the log disabler zip file and flash it and within a second or two it will delete the log from your device and just reboot your device in normal mode and you'll be surprised to find that the lock will be removed from your device that's it with this method there are separate lock disabler tools for passwords for pins and for patterns so i've added all the links in the video description just check it out and download it and flash it to remove locks from your device that's it with the second method using the custom recovery and moving on to the third method this method is actually an exclusive method which is suitable only for users with twrp custom recovery installed in the device this utilizes the inbuilt file manager of twrp recovery instead of flashing or installing the aroma file manager you are actually going to utilize inbuilt file manager of twrp recovery and it's it works in the same way as that of the previous method going to the data folder then system folder then delete the dot key file gets to dot key for patterns 
uh, password dot key for passwords and etc stuffs. Just delete the key file and reboot your device. So that is all with the methods which are supported by the custom recovery. And now it's time to move on to the stuff supported by your PC. Now let's move on to the PC side. For the PC side, you need your mobile, your USB cable, and of course your PC or laptop. So talking about this method, you should have USB debugging option turned on in your device in order to utilize this PC lock hacking method. Otherwise, it will not work and of course you can't turn on USB debugging in a locked device in normal ways. If it is turned on then connect your PC to your device or connect your device to your PC and open up ADB toolkit or ADB tool. Link is there in the description, click it and download it and drop it, drop all the ADB toolkit files in a simple folder and open the folder up and inside the folder hold the shift key and press right click in your mouse. It will open a pop up menu where you will find the option named open command window here. This will open up the command prompt with that directory, ADB directory as the working directory and inside that type the command ADB devices this will display all the devices all the android devices which are connected to your pc so in case if it, if the adb devices command is not displaying any device then your device is not properly connected to your pc or else your device drivers are not properly installed to your pc so just check it out and after doing after checking all these things type the command adb shell this will open up the linux terminal shell inside your windows pc and after opening that Type the command su. This one is for utilizing the super user permission. And after typing the su command, it's time to delete the lock. Before that, you need to step into the data folder, right? Just check out whether data folder is present inside your system folder or not. To do so, type the command ls, which will list out all the files and folders in your system folder. And there it is, the data folder. Now, in order to enter inside the data folder, you need to type the command cd data slash system which will directly take your access to data slash system folder and inside the system folder to find the key file type the ls command again and scroll to find the key file and there it is gesture.key and this is the file which you want to delete but if you want to delete all the key files in your device to uh, just in case if you are not sure which one is the log key file then use this command rm space star dot key this will delete all the password type file linked to your device that is all the log files linked to your device and after doing it just reboot your device manually or type the command fast boot reboot to reboot your device and after rebooting your device just in the same way the locks will be removed and that is all with the method involved using pc and adb toolkit honestly these are all the methods i know till now and the final method is actually uh, lost call method which is wiping the entire system memory off so if none of these previous methods work for you go to this method because this will wipe the entire system memory you will lose your contacts your system pictures your system files so to do that go into the recovery mode um, the key combinations may vary after going to the recovery mode you will find an option named wipe system memory or wipe data slash factory data reset just move to that navigate to that using the volume keys and select that using the power key and after doing that there will be an option yes to wipe the system memory but in case if you can't perform any of these methods then this is the only method which is going to save your device and you so perform it and after that reboot your device and your lock will be removed and all the system files will be removed and that is all with the methods i know till now to remove locks from your device that is from your android device and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did so just give me a like if you didn't give me a dislike and if you want to enjoy more videos like this subscribe if you are already a subscriber thank you stay subscribed and another news for you talking about a giveaway uh me my channel is closing up near 10k subscribers and my buddy PC Crazy who is a custom gaming PC builder and he is going to touch 10k followers in Instagram so we are joining to bring you a giveaway to thank you guys for your support. All you need to do is just click the link in the video description, give us a giveaway and complete the things and the winner will be announced after 2 weeks so stay tuned. I'll hopefully meet you guys in the next one until and unless it's bye bye from ATS stuff. Bye.